Welcome back to the studio. The water color, the colors for the water are ultramarine blue plus white, ultramarine blue plus thalo blue plus white, thalo blue plus white, and then thalo turquoise green. Or thalo, wait a minute, let me look here. It's thalo turquoise blue. I'll show you that. Thalo turquoise blue. This is a Rembrandt oil color, oil paint, and it just gives me a nice turquoise, turquoise blue green. As the water comes closer and it's shallower, the creaminess of the rocks come through that water, and so blue plus yellow, water blue, the creamy rocks are more yellow, and so that makes the water turn more green. So I start working here at the back. I've used the ultramarine blue and the ultramarine blue plus thalo blue in here because that's more muted. The thalo blue itself is a more intense color so it comes forward. That's a basic rule in painting to help give depth in your paintings. Intense colors come forward, muted colors go back. So that's a, another way that you can add depth into your painting. And I have, you can see I have various, as you saw in that picture of my palette, I have various mixtures out there, various shades. And as I start working forward, then the water starts getting more intense. Just come along these rocks. And then there will be darker areas in there where the rocks kind of show through. But as a rule, this all this gets lighter and more intense in color as we come forward. Again, you have some strips of darker color where there's rocks underneath the water. Now, as we get up here, let's see, let me get, make a little mixture here of, this is my ultramarine blue plus white. That'll be, as we get closer to the rocks, then you start getting some foam. My brush clean, I was picking up some phthalo blue on that. Secret to clean, crisp colors on your canvas is a clean brush. So as we come up here, then we start getting some of that ultramarine blue plus white, and that's just that foam. And you can see how I can use the corner of this brush to get into those smaller spots. Just getting my water blocked in now. Now I'm going to start bringing some of that thalo turquoise blue in here. You can see how much greener this looks. There'll be little ripples in the water and the sun is coming from the left. So where the water goes up on the back side of that, it's going to be darker. So it's actually the front side of that little wave, but that's going to be a little bit darker. And then we start getting some of the rocks showing through. really seeing more of the individual rocks. And I want to bring these at an angle because subtly I want to point your eye back to the little village there of Cap to All. It's a very subtle pointer, but that just brings your eye back there.
This is my phthalo turquoise blue. And I let some of that rock color just mix into the water because that water going over it influences the color of the water. That rattling you hear is I just have a roll of toilet tissue hanging from my palette there where I can easily grab it with one hand. And now as we come up here, there's a little beach. So this is lighter, the base of these rocks. But as we come down in here, there's a few little flat rocks. Mixture. I'm adding a little more white into that phthalo turquoise blue. Just want to have several shades here to work with. A lot of mixing, but that makes your painting interesting. You want lots of different various shades, and, and water's that way. I mean, when you look at water, it's not just all one one color, not not all just one shade. Various, various shades, various lights and darks. But you can see as this water goes back, the more muted colors actually make it appear to go back. And then this more intense color here in the front with that phthalo turquoise green appears to, to come forward. And the texture on these strokes, I like to keep that. That just gives nice interest in your painting. Now this is that little wave coming in here. Now as I'm going back, I'm going to have another little wave, but it's going to be with my phthalo, phthalo blue. This will just make it drop back a little bit more. I'm going to come back and, and these rocks that are underwater, I want to just soften them a little bit and I want to make sure that all the little white spots where the canvas shows through I need to make sure those are covered. Now I'm going to go back a little darker because some of those rocks you, the edges are a little bit darker so I just very softly indicate those and I may have to soften some of those some of them may be a little bit too dark But as you get closer, you start seeing a little more detail in these rocks as the water gets shallower. And these actually here come out of the water. They're exposed a little bit. Now my wave, now this is not pure white. This is white plus some little ultramarine blue. And I just want to have a little bit of a white cap on this wave. I'll highlight it with my with pure white, but you can just, I uh, want to let that break over. And then also this one back here, just a little bit. I want to get this a little bit darker here. Now I'm going to start using some pure white. The sun's hitting this foam on the top of this wave. Then we have some little white caps in here that come up along this edge of the water. 
where the, the water rolls up onto the sand, we get little, little white caps or little foam collects. It's not white caps, but the foam just collects along here. And it also collects in the base of this rock. These rocks will kind of reflect down in to the wet. And I also bring a little bit of my ultramarine blue plus white into here just to give the feeling of the sky reflecting down into the wet sand. Now I've got a lot more work to do on this, but this gives you the basic feel of how I get the water started. I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting and others that I do on my blog. The link is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of my YouTube video, and you can see the entire process of this painting. So I appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel. You can also subscribe to my blog and you'll get an email every time that I make a new post. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much. And just remember, today is a great day to have a great day. So just enjoy. Each day is a gift. So thank you again and happy painting.